Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Frosty Fly Realistic B. Here we have the Realistic B bodies. These are 3 millimeters, and you can see it there. And we're going to use the Realistic B wings. And we're also going to use the realistic insect legs. These are small. And there's the legs. The hook I have in the vise is a 200R size 14. This is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. It is a straight eye curved shank hook. I believe it's about three extra long and this is the size 14. We're going to take our our B form and we want of course we want the eye to be sticking out of the head and I'm going to just eyeball it there. I want that to uh, come out just past that first uh, just past that first yellow band almost to the second yellow band. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle, this is my leg puller, and this is simply a needle, and I put a length of tippet on it, and I glued it to the end of the needle. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it in from the back side, and pull that needle, put that needle right out the tip. I'm going to run that through. And I run it back and forth just like I did with the B. And I'm going to pull that into it so that my body will be on the tippet material. And I got my body on the tippet material. Now I'm going to take just black thread. I'm just using this 16 aught just because it is uh, handy here, but you can use 8 aught. I wouldn't go much uh, heavier than 8 aught. You want to put a base of thread down. You want a base of thread on everywhere that every part of the hook that is going to be inside the B body. So I'm going to stop that just about at the point. Break that off. Now I'm going to come back and I make an open loops going back or palmering it forward and I'm going to tie that off. And we're going to just trim that off. Now I'm going to take a piece of heavier thread and for that I'm going to use Kevlar. It doesn't matter as long as you have a heavier thread. I'm going to just take a piece of this Kevlar. I use the Kevlar because I don't use the Kevlar thread too much in tying. We're just going to put this thread through the eye of the hook. Basically fold it over. And we're going to Put this thread through the loop through the leg puller. Just put that through there. And we're going to take our B body and slide that down onto the thread. Take our B body and slide that down onto the thread and pull that through. I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on the thread. If 
Oh, that's too much, and it slid off. If, it, if you have to have a build-up, you want it closer to the eye of the hook. Take your body and slide that down onto the hook shank. And you can remove your Kevlar. And that's already secured on there. We're going to turn that over. And we're going to put those legs on there. And we want those legs to be just in front of that yellow band. So I'm going to put a small drop of, head, of uh, super glue on that spot. And we're going to go ahead and put those legs in place. Now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go between the first and second set of legs and I'm going to secure those legs. Go ahead and trim off that excess. Now I'm going to take the realistic B wings they come apart very easily, but there's a little tab on there. You can see that tab right in the front. You want to leave that tab. You don't want to cut that off because that's where you want to tie them in at. I'm going to take them and tie them in. Make sure they're centered on there. Take my whip finish. Finish that up with a whip finish. And I'm going to put a little drop of heads of uh, super glue on there. Just a little bit to secure the threads. Very small amount is all you need. And here we have the Frosty Fly Realistic B. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please visit my sponsors and leave comments questions suggestions and most of all i thank you very much for watching my videos